Today's video is sponsored by Booksu. Use code NERDYCRAFTER10 for great savings. Hey Greens, and welcome to testing viral TikTok shops. In previous videos, we've done mystery bags that all they've done is broken my heart. And I've even tried viral TikTok video shops, and they also broke my heart. I feel like shopping off of any kind of TikTok shop or ad is a hit or miss. You're really risking either having your heart broken or potentially getting something awesome or absolute trash. So today I'm going to take the hit and review the shop called Hoppin Candy. They have over 3 million followers and some of their videos get well over 50 million views. 50 million. <laughs> oh my god. Good for them. Go get it. And their videos are basically some of a few things. They either pack orders or they show off different candies with different themes. Everything from Spider-Man themed type candies to anime type candy mixtures and even just rare types of things that you may not find locally. And since I'm a sucker for punishment, I wanted to check their mystery boxes because they are always sold out. So when I saw that they had two different sizes available, <clears throat> the mega mystery box at $108 each and as you can see the sizes are pretty big and then we have the regular mystery box which is $54 so even though it does seem small it's $54 which technically would make it around a good budget for gifting if it is good I say skeptically with a high-pitched voice which means with taxes and shipping I've spent $300 on candy mis can candy, candy mystery box <laughs> I do this so you don't have to. I'm helping you save money because I know how hard you work for your money. So as you see, they are pretty big boxes and I'm going to see the value versus the actual paid price. And yes, let's take a moment to appreciate the holographic bags that these are packed into. Right away, what I noticed is that the holographic bags don't actually tell you which candy this is. So I bought a few of them and none of them have labels. I'm like, is this that one or is this this one? So. Poppin' Candy, if you ever do see this, I recommend a label to let me know which set this one is. Just, just, just saying, I'm just saying. By the way, for those of you new to this channel, don't forget to subscribe. We do a bunch of weird things. I waste my money so you don't have to. And I do like to wave sharp pointy things. Click all notifications while you're there. Let me know in the comment section below, are you a sweet or savory type snacker? For me, I absolutely love salty things. I'm not even joking, like this, this is, this is for real. For true. No cap. So basically, I'm really curious to know if these mystery boxes are like the VAT 19 ones where we reviewed and unboxed them to see if the actual value is there for these boxes. If you're interested in seeing that video specifically, I will link it down below and here's what the thumbnail looks like. So let's go ahead and start with the box at $54. Make no mistake, they do have everything from even drinks all the way to different snacks from the UK. So I'm really excited. I genuinely am. $54? $54? Plus tax, plus customs, plus all of that. You ready? Hmm. Oh, okay. Nicely wrapped. I can appreciate that. So right off the bat, I absolutely love the packaging. By the way, this is not sponsored or affiliated with them, but let's keep going. The anticipation is killing me. It smells really good. 50, whoa, $54 of sweets right here. It smells so good. <laughs> Okay, the first thing I'm noticing are these little dingbats over here of different things that are thrown on top. I'm looking for the big valued items. So we do have little things like this. We have different hard candies. I'm guessing these are retro gums. I'm not sure, I haven't tried these before. So let's put these little things on the side because I feel like these are more often than not just kind of extras thrown in there. Let's find the big stuff. Okay, extras. All right, so the first thing that seems bigger, interesting. Thank you for recyclable things. I appreciate that. So we have a white Oreo pack of Cadbury. I actually have never seen this before. And if we can find the price of these things in their shop, you brains will see them on screen. And right, I'm just gonna move things aside here. Next, we have something called Hot Tamales, Soft and Chewy Bites, Fierce Cinnamon. I don't think I've ever had this before. Oh, they look like little licorices. Oh, 
Mmm, that's weird. It's that weird cinnamon spice, but not overpowering. I like this. Next is Banderilla. Oh, okay, so this is a natural tamarind fruit and candy with salt and chili. Oh my god. This box has me really excited so far because as a kit so far, these are things as a Canadian who also sees things in the US, I haven't encountered yet. I'm excited for that one too. I'm gonna do a taste testing later, but first let's, let's see what we get. And then we have a Pocky strawberry flavor. This is different from the one that we know mostly because they're about 99 cents, but these ones are a little bit more premium. So this is good. For those of you who want to say, but Jake, it's called Pocky. No, let's listen to the Japanese commercial. And then, oh, I think this is a drink. Okay, what do we have here? Purple. Interesting. I'm not familiar with this brand, but we get a Tango Dark Berry Sugar Free. This is fun. I'm enjoying this so far. <laughs> Let's just hope that it keeps going. Then we have something called Gems, which reminds me of Canadian Smarties. So it seems like in the UK, American Smarties are called Swizzles, but in Canada they're called Rockets. And gems here are known as Smarties. I know this sounds confusing. The whole culture of candy. I'm an expert. Not, not an expert. Just trust me. And then we have a Surf and Turf Raspberry Tropical Punch Nerds. These ones, eh, not so excited about. Totally awesome unicorn gummies. I think I've seen this before. And if I'm not mistaken, I've seen this even at the Dollar Tree. And then, oh, Tacky's Blue Keat Hot Chili Peppers. I have not seen this one before. Or if I've seen it, then it was limited edition here and I didn't see it again. And it's supposed to be extreme heat. And then, oh, we actually get one of those packs. These I know are $16 each. And it seems like this is a Halloween edition. Again, we don't get a sense of what pack this is because they don't label it. Pop and Candy, please put an extra label here so we know exactly which set this is. Because what if I do like this? How do I know to order the same one again? I don't. So we get some fangs and gummies and things. And then, what are you? You get something called lipstick. Oh, so it's like one of those powdered lollipops, just in lipstick format, and two of them. And then more things dropped at the bottom. So let's take a look at our current full value. Oh, and I forgot to mention, we do get something called dips, which is basically a stick, which I will show you grains. We have a sugary stick and you dip it inside each of these different flavored sugars. I used to get these a lot when I was a little grain and they were like back then. like. 50 cents or something. And I'm going to count the miscellaneous ones as you see, the, the little loose ones that they threw on top. I'm going to count these about two bucks at most. So in total, according to their website, the total value of this box is $62. And we paid $54, which means there's an $8 saved somewhere, which doesn't seem like much of a saving versus choosing our own, especially, hear this, I paid $100 in shipping. I know the shipping is not up to the actual vendor, but it is part of the cost price. So if I'm dividing the shipping with the three mystery boxes that I got, it means that each mystery box is $33.33333, which brings this box to a total of $87. And the value is 62, so we are negative value. Again, I know it's not up to the vendor, but it is part of the cost price. Price. And I also paid $65 in customs. This package was a nightmare. I'm just putting it out there. So in total, I paid like $165 more to receive this package that I just have to put into the value. So we're, we're negative in um, value. I guess if you're in the UK, sure, cool. But then that means none of these things is really special to you. Okay, let's just keep going. And I bet you grains are as curious as I am. Are these gummies soft or are they hard as heck? Nobody wants hard gummies if they're unpleasant or stale or anything like that. So we gonna do a quality control. <laughs> Smells fruity. I'm pretty familiar with the texture of teeth. What? Gummies, teeth gummies. I do not chew on people's teeth. <laughs> so let's go ahead and try it. So far, it is pretty soft. <laughs> Smells pretty good. And yeah, consistency is soft, but I'm trying to figure out if it's stale. Let's try a skull. <laughs> it is really soft. 
No, it's not stale. This is pretty fresh. This is pretty good. Someone needs to take this away from me. So quality and flavor is there, but savings is not. Just putting it out there. You know what? Maybe we're gonna be wrong. Let's go ahead and open a big one. And let's go ahead and get the mega huge box that we paid $108 for. Now, do I think the prices are inflated? The answer is absolutely yes. However, much like VAT19, where they make it convenient for you to find everything in one spot and things you may not find locally or even on your own Amazon, there is a premium price for convenience. Again, I can't blame them. Prices are inflated. Yes, convenience. Yes. And here we go with the huge, huge box. It's way bigger than me. We have a nice wrapping again. And I love the, the candy colored theme. Oh, okay. Okay, so we seem to get more of these dingbatty type candy things. We get these ones. Okay, what is that? What are you? That is weird. Cheeseburger flavor sunflower seeds. Never seen these before. I'll do taste test of most of the weird, weird things at the end of the video. First, I wanna show you grains value. And then we have Cheetos footballs. So I'm guessing just different sized Cheetos, Cheeto balls, balls of Cheetos. I'm really hunting the big valued stuff and oh holy moly okay 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 again let me I'm gonna put these aside because I want you guys to see more of that there's so, there's a lot of big stuff in here okay give me a second eventually so we do get two more of these holographic type of what's it called Packaging. I don't know why I was loading. And again, these are $16 from what I can tell. Here we have kind of classics, but this is huge. Look at this cola bottle. We have these little eggs, which are some of my favorites. We have gummy bears and whatnots. Here it seems like we get more of the Halloween slash horror theme. I can see teeth. I can see tongues. I can see a skull and even a brain over here. So I feel like depending on when you order, they are sending the themed packs close to that specific holiday. I can see we also got drinks. So we're gonna check those out. Interesting. I thought this was animal crackers, but it's actually seaweed flavored biscuits. I absolutely love seaweed flavored things. Um, I know I don't like seafood, but I love seaweed. I guess I'm just a fan of seaweed. And what are you? We have Jammy Dodgers. Never heard of this before. Unicorn edition. What makes this unicorn edition? Oh, okay. So basically we have a filling with a unicorn on the inside. Is that is that all? I really like the packaging though. This is really cute packaging. For some of you wondering if the expiry date is closer and that's why they're putting it in, I would say it's a mixed bag. This here expires this year, December, whereas other ones were expiring near March of 2022. What? This is... Japanese? Yeah. We have a pack of mochi. I absolutely love mochi. One of the things I wish they had also in this box, I know it's not a subscription box, but would be common allergens. Al allergens would be pretty helpful. Mind you, I could probably just read the back and do that, so scratch that. So melon mochi. Oh, okay. I've seen this before. So we do have the birthday cake flavored Oreos, but holy crap, this is the big one. Yeah, this is the family size. So I'm definitely going to be giving this to my sister Sika, who as you can see on screen here, sometimes joins us for some videos. I'm pretty sure she's gonna be happy with this. And then we have made with fresh cactus. Cactus snack, what the heck is this? Corn fresh organic snacks with chili. I love when anything has chili, but okay. Interesting, I definitely want to try this out. We have something else here that's wrapped. Not sure why. Oh, another, <gasps> what is that? Oh, orange flavor. So we have a Cadbury orange flavored twirl. Anything orange flavored for me has my heart. I love these things. We also get some Yan Yans here. This is not very special. I've seen these for about two-ish dollars. But again, you grains can see all the prices on the screen of basically what their value is for the items on their own website. What is that? What is a brain liquor? What is this? And see, even here, the date is 2023 as the expiration. So it, it's a mixed bag. I'm gonna open this now because I am very curious. What are you? Oh, oh, okay, oh, let's... <laughs> It's just sugar. It's like a deodorant. So it rolls kind of like a deodorant ball, but you're basically licking it. Oh my god. This seriously brings me back to being a little grain of like six years old. I don't think my body has had this much sugar in a long time. I have goosebumps. 
definitely something fun for the little grains on occasion, obviously, or, or the bigger grains like me, because then it's, it's bringing you back to childhood somehow. And then we have something called Millions Bubblegum Flavor. I've never had these before, so I have no idea what they're like, but I feel like they're popular. So let's go ahead and take a little bit and see if they're candy or actually bubblegum. They look like mini popcorn or giant nerds, depending on what you're looking for. And let's take one. Is that gum? I can't tell. I heard gum. So it's bubble gum flavored gum. Okay. Wait, no. No, wait. Okay, they're not gum. They're kind of a mixture between Laffy Taffy and Airheads. So it's a taffy type. They're pretty good. Swizzles Refreshers. We do have the mini ones of these. I'm going to guess they're kind of like Starburst. Watermelon flavored Mike and Ikes. Again, with the theme of chewy. Still with the theme of chewy, we get four packs of lemon heads with different kinds of flavors. I actually really like these, but I don't always see them often. I don't know why. I think they're mostly in the US, less so in Canada. But yeah, we have grape head and lemon head in flavors. Still chewy, same consistency as a starburst kind of thing, but actually softer and sour and more flavorful. <clears throat> we have pulperin dots. I have, again, no clue what these are. So far, so many of these things are just new to me, which is kind of exciting. We get spicy and watermelon. So again, taste test near the end. And we have ultra sour toxic waste. I heard that these were actually good to get your mind off of things because you're just trying to survive how sour they are. <laughs> So again, I've never tried these, but it is also flexible. So we're staying with the idea of chewy. And last but not least, in addition, of course, to little dingbats that are at the bottom, I don't want to count these as part of the thing. I feel like they're just cool kind of fillers. Let's find out what drinks we get because the drinks are pretty expensive on the websites. They can range anywhere from four to about eight dollars and up. So let's see what we have. First one is, oh, strawberry milk. And it is a Japanese drink, so I am looking forward to this. This Japanese snacks have my heart. And the next one is, oh, Taiwan banana milk. Again, this is pretty cool. I'm looking forward to this as well. And so for all of these items, as you can see here from the $108 mystery box, we get $123 of value, which means again, we've saved approximately $15 for this one. They do seem to give a good variety of sweet and salty, but again, I'm wondering if for $15, if I wouldn't prefer just buying my own stuff and and it would basically be about the same thing and curated for the person I would specifically buy it for or for me. Now, question is, since we have two of the same large boxes, will they maintain the same value to price ratio? Or even more interestingly, are they the exact same items on the inside? For that, we must do the opening. And our consistency control check. Oh my God, these are heavy. I'm not joking, these are, these are, these are heavy. You know what? I'm gonna get a scale. All right, so let's turn this on. I don't even know if it's too heavy for this little scale. It's really tiny compared to that. Okay, and that is four kilos? Holy carp. For my Amerigreens who are confused about kilograms, here it is in pounds. It's heavy. That's, that's basically it. All right, so let's go ahead, open it up and compare to the previous box. Hopefully it's not the same things. And from the first look of it, no. Okay, so far so good. I like how they keep wrapping up their chocolates. Oh, so we have a whole nut. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> I feel like Cadbury knows exactly what they did. It's a whole nut. Huh? All right, so we're going to move this aside again and see what we got. And then the other thing that caught my attention is milk mochi. And this here is made in Taiwan, but it's written in Japanese. So I can see miruku written right here for milk. I'm guessing these are individually packed. I'm really curious. Yes. And basically they look like this. So they're very soft and we get a kind of stuffing on the inside. I don't think I've had this one specifically, but I feel like I've had a similar type brand. Mm -hmm. Tastes like condensed milk. It's good. Oh my God, that is very sweet. A little too sweet for me. There's a reason why I like salty things. And then we get another pack of tackies. This one is Fuego. The funny thing is, my brother just texted me telling me his favorite flavor is Fuego. So he's gonna be happy. Believe it or not, most of these things I will actually be donating because again, I am not a sweet snacker. I might keep some of the salty stuff though and some of the limited edition weird sweets. 
And then, ooh, blueberry pocky. Pocky, pocky, pocky. So we have strawberry and blueberry. This is a familiar one. Very common here in North America. We have the wild berry skills. They're not even limited edition. They're just permanently there. And we have Hawaiian punch candy jellies. If I'm not mistaken, this is more like a fruit juice that is available in North America. Let me know if it's available in the UK or even in Australia or for those of you international grains. Green international ones. <laughs> so far, I feel like a lot of what we have here is very common. Um, green tea mochi. We seem to have quite a few that have Japanese on them. Apparently we get from sword bean. What is a sword bean? Aha, look, I am holding a bean. It is a sword. <laughs> Next, what? Why does this look like cat litter? Hmm? I have no idea what this is. Hang on, let's see if we have other ones. Okay, we have a blue themed gummy as well. This more specifically, I have seen on their website. I don't know if it's blue theme or ocean theme. Again, pop and candy, please label it. What if I like it and want more? I can't tell. I'm gonna have to browse everything. Come on. But this one, what the heck? A few minutes later. So I've searched their entire website and I couldn't find it under any of their bags or bundles. So we're gonna get curious. We're gonna open it up and see exactly what this is supposed to be. <laughs> Smells like some kind of chocolate. And you can see in here, I feel like it's some kind of maybe crisp. I have no idea what this is. Oh. Ew, it's gross. I'm guessing it's supposed to be like a crispy chocolate, but it has more the texture of a wet cardboard. This is not pleasant at all. I'm guessing probably same price as the other ones, but holy carp, that is gross. Yeah, this for me would go in the trash. Bye bye A Hello Panda. This one is very common here. Approximately $2 locally. Another Millions. This one is cola flavored. More toxic waste. This one is purple sour candy, but we have a different form. Not sure what this is. Apparently it's sour hard boiled sweets. Another pack of Cadbury. This one is Freddo Biscuits. So I guess frog with squirted chocolate on there. Hmm. Oh boy. This box is a little um, underwhelming. We have another set of Yan Yan. More like a hazelnutty chocolate. Oh no. Oh, these do not look good. An infinite candy. I forgot what these were called old school. I think they were called jawbreakers. <laughs> And basically, they don't, they're really hard to break. So they just have layers upon layers. Four of these refresher things. Tropical Punch Pop Rocks. I am not happy with this box. Mini Crisps or Chips. Scampi and Lemon. What is Scampi? Shrimp. <laughs> Milk Chocolate Coated Caramel. Wafer Biscuit. Quick the mouthful. I absolutely love high chews. We have these locally and they're about two dollars for one of these and then some kind of sugary Whatchamacallit? We'll, we'll find out the name exactly on their website And then we have the usual miscellaneous type candy at the bottom of this. However, we do get some drinks I really feel like the value of this box itself is not that great This one specifically compared to the other ones we have a Fanta pineapple. I have not seen this one before, so that's interesting. And is that Fanta watermelon? <gasps> is it? Nope, it broke my heart. We have Fanta berry. That's, that's pretty unique. These two are pretty cool, but I still feel like the value of this box is way lower than the other one. So let's, let's tally it up. So the total value of everything that you grains see is in technicality, according to her website, worth $134. Which means we saved $26. I personally feel like this box is no match for the previous one that we got. This one really just feels like a bunch of stuff thrown in there because they wanted to get rid of it. Especially what the heck is this cat litter? It's gross. I really don't like it. It's wet cardboard. I, I really don't like it. But I do have to say that the quality of their gummies are actually really fresh and I mean what you expect from them if you do order individual packets which I've tried to do also be careful because they will be smushed so this here is the jelly filled collection and um, I, I think they're just one gummy now <laughs> They're, they're pretty smushed together and you could see some of the leakage here. So they basically just shoved it with the boxes unprotected and it got smushed just to keep that in mind. 
So we're going to do a couple of taste tests of just the ones that I thought were very interesting because I mean I could spend basically a whole day taste testing everything. But before I do that, let me know what is your opinion? What do you think? Are these boxes worth it or do you feel like meh? It was definitely an adventure and it did get me a little giddy opening these boxes except for the last one. I just I'm not feeling it personally. Let's try the cactus snacks. That really got my attention. They look like little macaroni things. <laughs> Smells like cardboard. Oh, well, hello. Oh, that is good. It's like a lemony chili. This is really good. Oh my God, this is oh, that is good. Mm -hmm. Oh, you are, you are staying with me. Next, I want to try the cheeseburger sunflower seeds. I have a feeling it's just gonna taste like barbecue. Let's take a sniff. Oh, what? No, it legitimately smells like pickles and cheese and burger. What the heck is this? Mm-hmm. Okay, this does not taste like barbecue. And yes, I'm eating the whole thing. It actually tastes like pickles and cheese and a burger. This is really good. Don't ask me where I got this habit from. I've been eating sunflower seeds whole for a long time. So I don't eat them often, but yeah, there it's gone. And then I want to try this blue heat tackies. New look, same intensity. This is supposed to be a limited edition, so let's go ahead and pull that out. Oh wow, these are blue. Look at that. This amount of colorant can't be good for you. <laughs> Wonder if it'll make my tongue blue. Eh. It's pretty good. Eh. <laughs> This blue tongue. This is really spicy. This is really nice. As mentioned at the beginning of today's video, we are sponsored by one of the biggest supporters of this channel, Buxu. For those of you who don't know Buxu, they are a premium Japanese snack subscription box, which means they don't only focus on dagashi. Every month, you'll be getting anywhere between 20 and 25 snacks centered around a specific theme. And this month is Kanzai Autumn. I absolutely love the Kanzai region because Osaka has a special place in my heart. However, as a first time subscriber, you'll be getting something called Seasons of Japan, which is basically a tasting of a little bit of everything so you know what the box is about. In addition to all the amazing snacks you get in the box, you also get a really cool mini magazine that talks about the specific culture, teaches you some Japanese, and they let you know whether or not specific snacks have common allergens, if they're vegetarian friendly or not. Let's try some Kansai snacks. Nara, long desha. Ooh, look at this. Oh my god. Oh, mmm, holy carb. Yes. Golden financier cake. Every time I see this in the box, I'm very excited. Oh, smells like happiness. It's so perfect. I have no idea how they make this, but can someone adopt me? Otona no curry senbei. Usually Japanese curry stuff is pretty strong. Oh, yes. Smells like actual supper. Mmm. Oh, the satisfying crunch. Mm-hmm. So what are you waiting for? If you're looking to experience Japan with flavors or looking to gift it to someone because, you know, the holidays are creeping in, then check the link down below and use my code NERDYCRAFTER10 to get 10% off your authentic Japanese snack subscription box. Thank you, Boxu, for sponsoring today's video and being huge supporters of this channel. If you want to watch more mystery box unboxings, make sure you check up here. And if you want to watch something crafty, maybe for a little difference, make sure you check down here. Until then, I will see you grains in the next video.